Well, I've now uh, developed a slate. I've edited my clips to the extent I'm going to do it here. Um, I'll, I'll make one or two quick changes. And I've added my audio and we'll make a quick fix. And this video is all about wrapping this up. So let's look at my clips for a second. I have a slate. I have one nice clip. I have this very long, boring clip. So let's say I would like to move a piece of this clip somewhere else. I can use this little razor tool and wherever I go it turns into a little razor blade and I tend to razor right on the play line but you can do it anywhere you want to and now you'll see I've made this into two clips both separate and I'm gonna make a really quick change I am going to grab this clip I'm going to hold the control key down and I'm gonna slip it right between my two clips Let's see if I did that well. And you'll see that I now have this little clip and I go there. Now I have this audio glitch and I want to see if I can pull this back together again. If I turn snapping on the S key, I know I'm not going to mess anything up. And it should play perfectly. Let's just listen for a second. Uh, and it was very difficult to see the very dark painting, so I found... So there you go, I didn't miss a beat with this. Okay, I want to do one more thing, and that's I don't want my music to start off too loud. I would actually like to add a control point. Um, I'll add two, I'll add one here. And I'm going to add one more. And I'm just going to, whoops, We'll come up with a fix for these. I want to make these control points linear, not bezier. So now my audio is going to start off a little gradual and reach my volume. And I'm good to go. So I need to make sure that everything comes together. My closing credits will add right there. I didn't put transitions in this one, but I think you folks can handle that and my project's going to end right there. So I want to go ahead and render this and sequence, actually I'm going to save this because I always try to save before I render. Sequence, I'm going to render the entire work area and this is zipping right along, I don't even need to pause this, but um, you don't, y you sometimes will have to render while you're in the middle of work just because you've got so many effects on things. In this case, I didn't really need to do that. It's a tiny project. And here we go. We're just about at 85%. And there we go. We're nice and there to start playing automatically, and I don't need that. So let's export this. We'll turn this in. So I go File, Export, Media. And I want to, this time, make some changes. So this is very important. I want to change my format, and I want to use H264. This is a way of compressing okay, this video. I have a lot of presets here and I'm going to select HD. I want this relatively small uh, for the starting export. I'm going to pick HD 720 29.97 and here's what this is going to give me. This gives me HD quality video and it is just a little smaller than 1920 by 1080. It's actually 1280 by 720. Okay, It'll take about 35 megabytes. So it's not a big deal. It's going to be just fine. So let me move this out of the way. And the one thing I need to do is I really need to change the name of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and change this name. And I'm going to call this uh, painting. But you can call it whatever you want to. I'm going to pick a location, and remember it goes in your master folder in 2014-09, and it goes into the video exports file, and you'll see I don't have anything there yet because I haven't exported, so go ahead and save. All right, so now I can see that my file is going into this whole place here, and it's hard drive user right into my video exports file, and it's called painting04, okay? or painting mp4. There's just a couple things with this. Now it is going to uh, make one pass, which is fine for this project. It's going to hit about six megabytes per second, 
um, which is a little low, but in this case, that's all right. And it's going to hit a maximum of 10 megabytes per second. There are times where we want to jump that up, and we would just scroll this down, and we might move this up to 10, and move the bottom one up to 12. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it right where it is. So, 6 and 10. There are times also, if you're working on a project, especially a very final version, where you want to do two passes. But in this case, one pass is plenty fine. The more you do, the more you uh, finalize this, okay, um, the, more, the higher uh, this file size becomes. This is pretty basic right now. So let's go ahead and we're going to export this. This will put it right in the queue and you'll see rather shortly I have my finished project. Okay, so now my uh, uh, encoding is finished. Let's just check to see where it was. Here's my folder. 1409 Art Video Exports and Painting. And there's my project. Now I can just double check my properties if I would like to. I will see that this is 1280. It's 48 seconds long, 720. So the aspect ratio, it's 1280 by 720. It is a 6 by 9 project, 29 frames per second. I shot at 30, but this is an est estimation. And that's about it. Um, so I hope that was helpful.